Hi, this is a short video to demonstrate the steps you need to take to complete the Excel My Finance Lab homework. So you'll notice that you may have one or more assignments that are Excel homework assignments. And these assignments are usually worth more points or have a heavier weight than a typical chapter homework. And they also take more time to complete. So it's not something you want to wait to the last minute to work on. But when you already work on it, you click on the homework link and you'll see the problems listed for the chapters involved. So you click on the uh, each problem, you're going to do each problem separately. So you click on the problem and you're going to get a dialog box that's going to give you four steps. The first step is to download the materials. And all you really need to download here is the spreadsheet. The directions, the Word document directions are also embedded in the spreadsheet. So you don't need to pull down the Word document. And the zip file is just these two files combined. So the only thing you really need at this point is the spreadsheet. So you just click download on that. And that will download. So I'm going to open that up. Okay, then the spreadsheet will open up and inside the spreadsheet will be the problem. So this is problem 10-4, and it's gonna have its own instructions, some data to work with, and, and what they're gonna ask you to complete are these blue boxes will need to be complete. So here, it's looking to complete um, the internal rate, of, internal rate of return. And so you have your project here, and by, you know, of course you have to read the chapters and do the regular homework first before you understand what you need to do here for this uh, particular problem. Now, so what we, what we do here is you, you would complete the, uh, you would complete the, uh, each of the problems. Now I'm going to uh, do the financial. internal rate of return. So I'm going to select that formula, highlight the cells, press enter. So here I get the internal rate of return and so this is for project A and using that formula I calculate the internal rate of return and we have a few, I guess we're doing this for each project. So for each project I would do the same Project all the way from Project D, following the directions. Now, you'll see these tabs here. So this problem is just on this first tab, but there could be, uh, always check these other tabs. There's no other tabs here, but there could be like a second tab or third tab in some cases. Not always. Uh, okay, so once you've uh, put in your, your formula, and it's important here, you can't just enter in, you can't do the, the work on a calculator or a pen and paper. You have to actually create the Excel formula to get the problem right. Might be, you might see this other blue box here and be like, I'm not sure um, what answer to put here. So uh, you, maybe you guess, maybe I'll just put a formula in like that. Okay, so then when you're done finishing out the spreadsheet, I'm going to, uh, finish this particular spreadsheet. Okay, and down here, these are the instructions um, for, this is what the Word document would be. So this is the instructions of what they want you to do uh, from step one, tell you the specific cell, and the instructions of what they want you to calculate. So this is how I knew to use the internal rate of return formula, because it tells you right here to calculate it for project A. Okay, so now I'm done. I'm going to save the file. Okay, so once the file is saved, I'm going to close the file here. So two, now in step two, this is the same information that was in the Excel file that's also in the, um, the, Word, the Word documents, just giving you the instructions of what to do. So you can usually skip step two and go right to step three. So here I'm going to, I'm going to upload the file, so I'm going to choose the file. So 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose the file and then I'm going to click upload and you'll see this green bar and you'll get this success check that it was uploaded and now I'm going to submit for grading. So um, I can close the project, close the project. And then maybe I'm going to move on to the next problem. And again, you download the material. Hit close that. You download the material. Here's the file. And typically you have to read the instructions and uh, you'll get these blue boxes or what you want to fill in. So I'm going to put the wrong answer in here um, so I can get some wrong answers. Okay, and I'm going to save the, I'm going to save the file. Okay, and once again, once the um, file is saved, I can now choose the file. I can select the file and upload, it's gonna say success, and then I'm gonna submit for grading. Okay, close project. Now, pretend I've completed all the projects, problems, what do you do now? So now you wanna go back to your main menu and look at results, and you click on results, and then here's Excel, I'm gonna review, and I see that for problem 1014, I have this check mark here, I got three out of three problems right, so I got 1014 correct, and that was the first one to do. So I know that there's nothing I need to do here. This is, I got all the points. But here, in this problem, I have a red X. I got zero out of five. So obviously I didn't know what I was doing. So I click on this, continue to review homework. Now I'm gonna get the review box. So in here, it will list specifically which steps I got wrong. So I got all these steps wrong. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to um, the live comment report, click on that. And this is going to download uh, another file. So it downloaded this LC live comment file. And what this is going to do is this is going to give me the information of what happened, what I got wrong. Okay, so then let me just make this a little bit bigger. So this is going to give me all the information about each cell and the actions that happened. But if you go to the next workbook, it's going to actually open up the workbook and it's going to show and I'm going to make this a lot bigger. It's going to open up the workbook and for each blue cell will be this little red little red triangle. If I just wand over that, it's going to I'm going to, I'm going to set this to um, show comment. It's going to pull up a comment. It's going to say exactly what I need to do here in cell G52. This is G and 52. Sheet chapter 11, that's the sheet I'm on. The formula was not set to H50 times D40. So then, so then that means I'm going to have to, that's the formula I'm going to need to set up in this cell. Uh, so when I pull up my chapter 11 file, And when I can actually go and rework and resubmit the file, but now I have the uh, comment here, and I can go plus H50 times D40. And this is uh, D40, D40 is here, press enter, and now I have be correct so I can keep going through so I can use the LC file for each problem I got wrong and discover what the formula is and you won't even if you have the right answer in the cell if you don't have the formula it's not going to grade it correctly because this assignment isn't about you know uh, getting the correct answer it's about understanding how to use Excel to get the correct formula to solve the problems so the regular homework, you could use pen and paper, calculator, what you need, but this is an Excel assignment. So you have to create those formulas. I can't stress that enough. And there are plenty of students who are always gonna be confused by that. So that's why I'm stressing it in the video. 
you need to have the formula to get the problem right. So you can't just type in the answer into the cell. Okay, so once you've downloaded live comment, you could go back in and resubmit the homework. Uh, you can also check the homeworks that you have completely right. So if you just want to study what you've done previously, you'll see here that I got all the possible points. And if I download, you can download the file you submitted if you want to look at it again, or you can even re-download the, the comment file for this. And you'll see that um, it says here that no points were lost and that I got eight out of eight, hundred percent obtained. And it'll, it'll show that, um, it'll just give me all the, it won't give me the corrections because everything is done correctly here. All right. So let's close this. Cancel. So you can, so once you get those for each of these problems, once you get that uh, learn key, you can actually go back in to the Excel homework and then try the problem again. So at this point, you can download the file again, work up the uh, correct answers based on the feedback, and then choose the file, upload it, and submit for grading. So I let you do that as many times as you need to to get the problem 100% correct. It may take you a couple of tries because you have to have the formula exactly as displayed in the um, in the correction file. Okay, so that's my 10 minute video or so on how to complete the Excel homework. Don't, uh, never mind these dates here because this, this these dates could be different for different classes. This is a general overview of how to complete the Excel homework using My Finance Lab. Thank you.